Hey, welcome back. So today I wanted to deviate a little bit and do my nails. I haven't done my nails in a long, long time and they just needed some loving. So to speed up the process, I already did a couple steps already. Uh, one of those being uh, I already used my um, cuticle cream, which right now I'm using the Cuticle Eraser Balm by Sally Hansen. It looks like, ugh, can I open it? Um, I'm really much, I'm just trying to get through it so that I can go ahead and buy the um, apricot oil by Essie. And then once I get through that, I really, really, really want to buy the Dior one. Um, you know, just a treat for myself. I'm using this nail file. I got this from Sally's Beauty Supplier. It was like a dollar or something. And... The nail polish, my base coat's going to be SC 3-in-1. I love this stuff. It's just perfect, easy. I, I just love it. And then I'm using this bright green color, which I'm super pumped about also. And then lastly, um, I may or may not include this glitter. It's a Triple Shine by Sally Hansen in the color Pearly White. I'm not 100% sure, though, if I'm going to go with that. That's just sitting there the, on the sideline. And, uh, basically, oh, um, before I forget, where is it? Um, also, before I forget, I did use a cuticle cutters. Um, basically, I get really, really bad hangnails. Let me see if I can see them, you guys, in to see. So, like, right there, I get them, like, super bad. So, um, basically what I did was I used the balm. First, I got that all up in there. You just take a little bit on your finger. Sorry, I'm like looking at this inverted, so it's kind of hard. So you take a little bit like on your finger like that, and then you go ahead and you just massage it in each nail. Really, really good. Do the whole thing. Do the whole thing, and um, then you take it. Once it like marinates a little bit, you take cuticle cutters, and then you just like get anything that's you know sticking up or like coming out so and just be very careful with these um I've been using them for years so like I'm pretty I'm pretty much know how what I'm doing um if you are uncomfortable just don't you know just skip the step don't use them but I need them because like I said I get super duper bad like hangnails or whatever they're called like um like the skin around my finger gets like super dry and the skin around my finger is super dry and there's just like nothing I can do about it so I just um the skin around my finger gets super dry so I, I need these in my life these essentials in my life so basically once I have all that done I then file and you want to file like one one way only um I read online no I read a paper I read in a woman's world that it's bad to file different ways, so I always just file in one direction. So once you have the desired shape, which honestly I'm no manic manicures, I'm just trying not to have any sharp edges so that it doesn't clang on my clothes. And then, yeah, once you do that, you want to, um, I have this like alcohol spray I'm going to spray and do it on the other hand. And the reason I do that is just to get rid of any excess oil because you need your nails pretty clean when you go in with, um, you need your nails pretty clean when you go in with, like, your base coat and stuff. You don't want that oil residue from the cuticle cream, you know, in the way because then the, it won't adhere, it won't adhere right and basically what you're going to get is your base coat is going to, um, stick to the oil residue and basically your nail polish will not last so you just want to do one thin coat of the base I normally do uh, my dominant hand uh, first but uh, I, I find it easier to uh, paint your dominant hand first because your when you uh, paint, like, you know, with your least dominant hand, you know, you're more likely to make a mistake. So, you don't want any polish on it to get uh, ruined. And I really like this base coat. I mean, um, in my, 
Like, when it comes to me and nail polish, you know, base coats and stuff, like, none of them really last that long anyway. But I like the simplicity of having one that does it all. And it does last a pretty good time. I get at least, like, four days wear out of it, which, um, no chipping. And as much as, like, a week with, like, slight chipping. So, yeah, it doesn't really bother me. And, like I said, I really like it, so. Okay. And then you want to do uh, your first coat with color. You don't want it to be thick. You know what I'm saying? Because when it's thick, then um, you'll get like bubbles and stuff. So, you know, you really want to avoid that. So, really want to get that brush um, not super coated with polish. And I got this color, it's called Funky Color, and I got it from 5 and below. And then I don't, I like, I do my whole hand, like one layer first, and then I go back and do this, the second layer. It's just basically what I noticed they do in the salon, so, you know, I kind of just mimic it at home. And don't worry if you get polish, you know, on your skin and stuff, um, it'll come right off, you know. No worries. Okay. Put that there. And then now to do the other. Sorry, my hand's like blocking the viewfind, the, the, the lens. I wish I had a better setup for this. And if you ever get like, like even just now, like I got like a lot on one nail. What I'll do is I'll... Like, let's say I just got, like, a whole bunch on one nail. I'll move on to another one and then come back and, and then separate the the amount I got so it's not that bad. Like, do you guys follow what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't... If I put, like, a big lump of polish on a nail, I'm not going to, with the same brush, like, um, like, try to spread it out because when you do that, then you're just, like, adding more product. But if you go ahead and, like... Took polish off the brush, so the brush is going to be more clean and easier to manipulate that excess um, polish. So now I'm going in with the second coat using my dominant hand, but it's my least, um, it's my left hand. And it's not the most opaque polish, but I mean, that doesn't really bother me. A lot of things you'll realize don't really bother me in the beauty department, especially because like, A, I'm doing it myself. So I'm not expecting like professional results and B, um, I think you know what you pay for. Like I only paid a dollar for this nail polish. So it's like, you know, I, you can't spend a dollar on nail polish and then hope you're getting like OPI results. Like, you know, sometimes you can like with really dark colors, but I just feel like even like, with like makeup, it's like you may not come across that in drugstore. You know what I'm saying? Like, does this make any sense? I don't know. It makes sense in my brain. So, basically, all I'm saying is that, you know, you get what you pay for. So, I'm sure if you have better quality polish, you're going to get better quality results. But, like I said, think, like, oh, God, I'm really jacking up my thumbnail. You know, really satisfied with what I can do. And you guys should do the same. If you want professional, then you need to go to a professional. As Tim Gunn used to say on Project Runway, make it work. And that's what I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm going to go in and just finish these nails off. And I'm going to go in with just... Ooh, this joint is thick. I don't know. Should I use it or not? Let me try it on my middle finger. Oh, it's not. It's really thick, this polish. Like, kind of, like, not hurt. You know, this might be one of those, like, polishes you probably need to use on its own and, like, not coat it. Oh, God, I think I just messed up my one nail. Not on top of anything else, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and use my SE again one more time. Finish it off. And that's it. That is my nails. Can you guys see them? Yay, I have nails. Again, uh, these are products that I love and stand by. And yeah, I really enjoy doing this. Thank you for watching. Bye.